Hi everyone, it's me Ferry. So Ganyu Banner is here, and as a Ganyu main, I wanna show you how I built her. Okay, first let's start with her stat. How many attack the accurate rate with the match do you need as melt DPS? For attack, it should be 2k or 2000 at least. If possible, get higher. I think it would be hard to get that, right? For EM, try to get more than a uh, hundred elemental mastery because we really need that for melt reaction. Unless you build her with free step, you won't need EM. Okay, next to crit ratio, how many crit we need? Since Ganyo Ascension is a crit to match, which give you 88.4% crit to match in level 90 without any artifact so i recommend you to get 200% crit damage to boost her damage or at least 180 well it depends on your artifact luck so good luck <laughs> for crit rate as you guys try to get at least 40% crit rate for melt this is a minimum crit rate if your artifact suck and 20% crit rate is enough for freeze for convenience gameplay I recommend to get 55% crit for Mel. And by the way, Ganyu get 20% from her Bloom passive. It's not worth it instead, but we can feel it. For energy recharge, um, I think I'm not gonna discuss this because most of her damage come from her charge attack. And what I mean is, you can get good stat on every artifact, right? You're gonna need a tiger shine, you're gonna need crit damage, you're gonna need crit rate, and you need ER, EM. You can get all of them perfect, right? So, 100% ER will be enough because we're not gonna use her burst always, right? Okay, next with her stat, now it's time for her weapon. Of course, I would recommend MS Bow because of it's a 5 star and it's not free to play friendly. <coughs> It's expensive. What will I discuss is the best free to play weapon for Ganyu. And it's the best in slot for star weapon for her. Number one Prototype Crescent. With secondary stat attack percent and passive is if Ganyu charge attack hit opponent weak point, she will get 63% attack and 10% movement speed for 10 seconds at refine 4. Which is really good for Ganyu, right? But wait, there's a few things that I don't like with this weapon. First, you need to get a good aim to hit opponent weak point. Second, not all enemy has weak point. But the good thing is, you can use Ganyu burst freely, which is it give you 20% extra cryo damage. <coughs> Number 2, we have Hamayumi Bow. With secondary stat, also attack percent, and passive is increase Ganyu normal attack by 32%. We don't need that. And increase charge attack damage by 24% at refine 5. And when Ganyu have her burst, this effect is increased by 100% more. Or easier to understand, the effect is doubled. So when Ganyu have her burst, she will have 64% normal attack and 48% charge attack at refund 5. What a great weapon for Ganyu, right? But wait! <laughs> There's a thing maybe you don't like it too. You can use her burst to maximize Hamayumi passive. And we all know that Ganyu burst can give 20% extra Ryu damage, right? Which you won't get that if you use this weapon. But the good thing is, you don't need to hit enemy weak point, aka, you don't need to have a good aim. And by the way, most people didn't use her burst on melt team. Most people. I'm not one of the most people. I'm using her burst while doing melt team. Because there's a small chance that your burst steal the melt reaction. It will mess up your rotation. So it's up to you which one you wanna choose. Hamayumi or prototype for my personal opinion. I prefer Hamayumi 
So, how may you make for melt prototype for freeze? That's for me. Okay, next her artifact. For freeze, for peace blizzard is the best. For melt, the artifact can be divided into three sets. The first one is four piece wanderer troop. The second one is four piece shimenawa. Of course, not for Hamayumi user. And the last one is alternative. You can use two piece blizzard and two piece attack artifact. And the main stat is attack percent sands, cryo damage bonus goblet, and for the circle, it depends what you need, crit rate or crit damage. If you're using four piece blizzard for freeze, use crit damage circle. Next, her passive skill and her priority talent. Her first passive skill is when Ganyu shoot her first frost flag, the next frost flag arrow crit rate will increase by 20%. You can see the red thing around her body, right? And her second passive skill is when your active character inside her burst, they will get buff 20% extra cry damage bonus, including herself. For Ganyu priority talent, Prioritize the basic attack as high as possible because its main source of her damage come from her charge attack. If possible, crown it. Then prioritize her burst and followed by elemental skill. I suggest you to level up her skill to level 7 to 8 for saving your resource. And if you ask me why I triple crown her, yeah, because I love her. She's my favorite. She's my queen. She deserves everything. <laughs> okay, okay, enough, enough. Next, her best team comp. For melt team, you will need a pyro application and shield, or maybe animal character. Best in slot, we have Ganyu as main DPS. It's only for shield and buffer. If you don't have him, you can change him to Diana. But Zongli will be greater because she can buff you from her his shield. Xiangling for Pyro application, Bennett for buff, heal, and Pyro battery for Xiangling. Or, if you have a good dodge and timing skill, you can change Zhongli into Kazuha or Sucross for crowd control and very buff. It will give you more damage. I mean, Kazuha can buff your elemental damage and Sucross can buff your EM, which is really good for melt. For freeze team is very simple. You're gonna need one cryo battery, one animal CC, and one hydro application. Base in slot, Ganyo as main DPS, Diana for battery and healing, Fenty Sucross or Kazuha for animal character, crowd control, and Mona Kokomi, or if you don't have Mona or Kokomi, Barbara will be good for hydro application. Yes, Barbara. It's very underrated, but it's still good. Okay, this is how I built my melt team for Ganyu. First, let's start with Zhongli. I use full XP build on him because I need his shield. Weapon using Black Tassel, Artifact. Base in slot, we're gonna use 4 piece Tenacity. It can give you more damage when his pillar hitting enemies. And it makes Zhongli shield even stronger. Talon, I focus on his elemental skill for shield. And Xiangling for pyro application. So try to get more than 200 ER because we're gonna need her burst always. Weapon, I using wave breaker. You can use this one, the cats, if you don't have it. Well, it depends on your ER. I'm using 4 piece emblem on her with ER sense and Pyro Goblet. And Bennett. I'm using uh, I don't know what this is built. I only focus on 4 piece Noblesse and on his ER. Alright, for weapon, try to get a uh, the highest best attack sword on your inventory artifact i'm using for peace noblesse talent focus on his burst 
and for my other melt team Kazuha or Sucrose I'm using 4 piece fear edition focus on, uh, <coughs> focus on EM and ER and this is my Sucrose Okay, that's how I built my melt team. Next, let's try to the freeze team. For freeze team, of course, I'm gonna use prototype on Ganyu. For artifact, I'm gonna use for fish blizzard. And as you can see, I only have 37 crit rate, and that's enough because we can get crit rate from for fish blizzard 20% if the opponent affected by cryo and another 20% if opponent get frozen so 40% in total if enemy got frozen we can also get from 2 cryo resonance if i'm not wrong we can get 15% and here i built my diana i focused on er and xp build because i need her as a battery and sometimes for shield too Weapon I using recurve bow. Recommended. Try to use either sacrifice, either sacrificial or Pavonius for more ER. Artifact I'm using for Pisno Blast, and of course I'm focused on ER and XP build. On six talent, focused on her E skill. And Sucrose, gonna need to change it. Change the weapon into a Fafonius codec because we don't need EM for freeze, right? Artifact, of course, still for freeze fury, but change EM into a attack or ER, whatever you need. Try to get a 200% ER because we don't need EM for freeze, right? And then Mona. I'm using Trilling Tails for more buff and artifact using four piece tenacity. And this is how I, I put the R on the sands and hydro goblet. Try to get to 100 ER at least. Okay, that's it how I built the Coco Goat. I hope this video was very helpful because it takes so long to make this video and thanks for watching hopefully Ganyu one will be Ganyu ever and see you guys on next video bye